This is what's known as a patriotic coat. The South, South and the North both did. They had printed very fancy cachets, they're called, patriotic themes. Uh, this was also done recently. We had this in World War II. There were a tremendous amount of envelopes went through the mail with patriotic themes printed on them. The, the first initially were in the Civil War. They were used in the Spanish-American War. They were used in World War I. Interesting ephemera collection. It's a tremendous assortment of both Union and of Confederate ones. Confederate being much rarer because there's much less mail that had been saved. How uh, more, they were less educated. I can't say that. You had more educated soldiers from the north than you have from the south. The south, most of the uh, southern were rural. Uh, the south, in particular, was a rural economy, and therefore uh, education may not have been as stringent. They might not have gone to school as long. Uh, most of the uh, volunteers, most of these uh, Confederate militia, uh, worked on the farms, so therefore they did not write as much. And there wasn't. A well, yeah, and mail documents are much rarer. And there, also, there's, there's, there seems to be some as a type of uh, aura to collecting Confederate material that uh, it is, most people that collect it don't like to sell it, they hold on to it. So uh, you do not get a flow of buying and selling as much in Confederate as you do in Union material. There's some done, but the volume I think is more Union because there was more Union material than there was Confederate material. Interesting.